A team that has truly had an incredible window and a window to remember has beaten Norwich City, obviously losing their key piece, their best player in the championship and the most creative player really in England for me is Emiliano Buendia who left the club but replacing him with some amazing forwards, some amazing young talent and some amazing youth players and spending their money very wisely. For the first time Norwich has been promoted, they have finally spent some money and this is a window to remember for Norwich City, guys. And I understand Norwich has had a tough time at the start of the season. They've had a tough schedule. But for me, it's Daniel Falker out. He's been terrible. The manager's been terrible. It's been a terrible run. I'm going to do a separate video on Daniel Falker and why I think he should be kicked out and why I think he should be sacked. But guys, this is focusing on the transfer business of Norwich City and why I think they've had a window to remember and why I think it has been a pitch-perfect window from Norwich. Starting with the ins. North have had an amazing window, guys. Bringing in some amazing talent, some amazing loan signings, and some amazing deals for some perfect fees. I gotta start off by talking about the best ones and working my way through it. Milo Rashika, I know he hasn't hit the ground running at best so far, but he is an amazing player at the age of 23, coming from Werder Bremen for a fee of around 11 million pounds. It's a perfect deal. He's a great player. Yes, he hasn't delivered yet for Norwich, but the system has been god awful. Daniel Falka needs to be sacked. You can't blame it on the players right now. The quality is there for Norwich. I think you need the right manager, and I think this is going to click. Milo Rashika, at the age of 25, is a top quality player for around 11 million pounds from Werder Bremen. Amazing deal. You can't knock it. Probably my favorite deal for Norwich this summer has been Christos Tezolas. The 19 year old Greek wonder kid, the 19 year old Greek star from Pauk, has come in alongside his. Uh, teammate from Pauk, Giannoulis, but Christian uh, Christos Zolas has been a revolution. He's a Greek star. He's a young talent. And for £11 million, this is probably one of the deals of the summer. He is a guy you're not just investing in for one season. He's a guy you're investing in for the future. And that is a way I look at a lot of these deals for North City. But the Christos Zolas deal is amazing because already you could see it in the League Cup game against Bournemouth. You could see it in other games. He just shows flashes of brilliance and he looks amazing. And once you get him playing in the right system, in the right style, the right formation, playing with the right players around him in the right setup, I think this is going to be an amazing team with Christos Zolas playing on the left-hand side with his former teammate from Pauk, Gianna Nulis. Bringing in Gianna Nulis from around from Pauk for around £7.5 million pounds was a fantastic deal. Obviously, they're already, but they signed him on a permanent Great deal because he's a great left back. I think you have him at left back. You have Christos Zolas at left wing. They form that partnership. They know each other. And it would be great to see them play together at Norwich. And once you get them, like I said, and once you get them in the right system, right formation, right side, right manager, I think this team is really going to take shape and change because the players they have are a lot better than some of the other teams. I'll get into that after. But also bringing in another player I really like is Josh Sargent. I know he hasn't hit the ground running for the US MNT, but he is still a good forward for me, and I think he's a great forward for a right kind of style, the right kind of playing system. He is a forward that will get you on the front foot, a guy who's going to press, a guy who will press that back line, win the ball back higher up the pitch, and get you the ball back when you need it, and he will help you score goals. Obviously, he hasn't hit the ground running yet for Norwich, but for me, I do think he should be playing ahead of Puki. I do think Puki... Is a bit overrated personally. I do think he is. I don't think he's top quality or the Premier League quality. I think he's great in the championship. He looks amazing in the championship. But I think he needs a, He can come off the bench. But I think you've got to look to the future. And the 21-year-old Josh Sargent from Werder Bremen coming in for around £9.5 million is a perfect deal. And like I said, with this Norwich transfer window, you're not just focusing on now. You can build towards the future and have a great team. That's why Norwich have to stay up this year for me. They need to because they can't lose this amazing talent like the Tizolas, Rashika, Sargent, and many other guys we're going to get into, like Gianna Nulis. They can't afford to lose these players after investing so much. And this, these players that they've invested in will have so much of an upside in the next coming years and the near future. Also, signing Ben Gibson on a permanent from Burnley, the 28-year-old English center back, brings a lot of composure, a lot of prowess in the back line, and will really help that back line in Norwich. Obviously, with the other signing of Ozan Kabak, that was also a great signing. You're having two great center backs there. I know Hanley's been playing beside him, beside Kabak. 
for me, Daniel Falk has got to go, and you got to put Ben Gibson alongside Austin Kabak, and I think that'll be a great partnership. Ben Gibson knows the league, played under Burnley's side, under Sean Dyche. They know how to defend. They know how to be solid at the back. And for around £9.3 million, pounds, you can't go wrong signing him on a permit for that kind of a price. At the age of 28, you got many more years to get out of Ben Gibson. I think that's a great permanent signing from Norwich City. Bringing in another one of my favorite deals, Pierre Lise Malou. I know a lot of Premier League fans or people around the league haven't heard much of uh, Pierre Lise Malou, but he's a great player. He's a great player from the French division. He's obviously still only 28, so he has still a lot of years to go. And he's just a great talent. When you watch him play, he's a great player. But for the fee, the fee is what stands out for me. Because when I watched the French League, I knew he was a great player. OG Nice. Obviously, a lot of the league earned clubs were in a financial position. OG Nice was the only one in the team spending. And they needed to bring in money. But they didn't bring in much for selling Pierre Lise Malou, a great central midfielder. Selling him for around £6 million to Norwich City was a great deal for Norwich. And they jumped on that immediately. Another deal that is really like a heartwarming story, one of those stories you love in football, one of those romantic stories, Angus Gunn rejoining Norwich from Southampton for a fee of around £5.8 million, and the 25-year-old goalkeeper is going back to Norwich. For me, Tim Kroll's been great, but I'd love to see Angus Gunn play eventually. At the age of 25, he's young, he's an English goalkeeper. People might look at 25 like, oh, he's middle-aged. No, goalkeepers hit their prime around 28, 29, 30, late, mid, mid to early 30s. Goalkeepers don't spring until their later years. And I think if Ang- Angus Gunn gets playing more, I think we'll see a great goalkeeper at Angus Gunn. Also on deadline day, Norwich went out and made a splash, bringing in Matthias Norman. I'm Norwegian myself. I love this deal for the Norwegian national side, getting a Norwegian player in the Premier League to keep progressing and keep playing. I think he's a great player to have. He's a great defensive midfielder at the age of 25. If they can sign him on a permanent after that loan deal, I think it's a great deal for Norwich. And Ozan Kabak, like I talked about, guys. I think this is one of the signings of the summer. I think they have a... It was a £12 million buy option at the end of the loan deal after the end of the season. And I really think they should take it whether they get promoted or not. Schalk aren't going to come straight back up from the Bundesliga 2. I really don't think they will. Their team is god-awful. And Ozan Kabak won't want to go back there, personally. And I think if Norwich can stay up... They need to make this deal happen because Ozan Kabak, for me, is a class center back. Yes, he's had a rough time of things. Obviously, had a terrible shock side, not getting a great run of time at Liverpool. And now finding himself at Norwich. And he's got to revive his career at Norwich, and I think he will. At the age of 21, he's got a bright future ahead of him, so don't get on his back yet. Brandon Williams from my club, Manchester United, has had a great start at Norwich, playing great defensively. And I think he will be a great purchase for them, or a great loanee for them. And also, Billy Gilmore hasn't really had a great run of form so far. Once he gets some game time, he will be looking fantastic for Norwich. But guys, I know the video is getting a bit longer. I want to jump into the outs. Buendia obviously is a massive loss, leaving for around £40 million, but creating a lot of money for Norwich. And that's why they're able to go out and spend so much money and bring in some top quality players and some young players to invest into that squad. It's really revitalized that squad and really helps out Daniel Falker, which he isn't taking advantage of. For me, is why they need a new manager. But the key thing for me in departures was the outs. Getting rid of a lot of dead wood, a lot of players who were eating up contracts, a lot of players that had to move on, a lot of older players, older veterans, which I think is massive that they moved on. The likes of Vranich, the likes of Steeperman, the likes of Leitner, uh, Louis Thompson, Nyland, Tribal, so many guys out there that are like, they're in the team, but they're just eating up wages. They're old, they're dead wood. They're not going to start in the Premier League. They're not even going to start championship level for myself. But guys, Norwich have had really a window to remember. I love Norwich right now. I think they're in a great position as a club. They have some amazing players, some youth, youthful players, some great young talent. They need the right manager to put together. I'm going to do a separate video on why I think Daniel Falker should be sacked. I know a lot of Norwich fans think that as well. And I want to let you guys know why I think he should be sacked as well. But guys, let me know what you guys think down below in the comments on what you guys think Norwich's summer was like. Drop a like if you haven't already. And hit the subscribe button. It means the world to me. I'll keep giving guys the best content possible. I can't wait to hear what you guys think. See you guys and I hope you guys have a great day. I'll be back with many more videos. But guys, I'll see you for the next one. Peace.